Hello YouTube, this is a quick video on how to use on an Asus motherboard, I don't think you'll be able to see that, it's an Asus motherboard, but yeah, it's an Asus Z97A, um, on how to connect both monitors to a discrete GPU, this one, to and to the integrated graphics, yeah. Right, so you need to power on the system, which it is. See, if I keep pressing delete quickly. Just keep spamming it. I think it's F2, but just do delete because it's easier. Everyone knows that. Right, it's decided to sharpen this display. There we go. Right, there is. A... Sometimes it does come up with this. Ooh, this laptop's overheating. Right, it'll come up with either that or that. Right, you want to go into this mode using either the mouse. Yeah, you just use the mouse. Go advanced. System agent. Configuration here. Scroll down to graphics configuration. I'll just use this. And CPU graphics multi monitor. I don't know if you can see that, yeah. Click to enabled. You can also choose which one is the primary display, so say if you're using something like, I don't know, maybe a Remix OS that doesn't support your graphics card, then you can, then you can use, set that to CPU graphics, so if you just move your monitors plugged into the integrated graphics then it will just work, or you can have it as, just change it however you want. I have auto, and when you've got a graphics card installed, then you have, then it goes to the PCIe slot. You can also change how much memory is allocated to the um, integrated graphics. And when CPU graphics is on as well as, the, both of them are on, so that's enabled, the system memory size will be fixed at 64 megabytes, as it says down here. Right, then press F10. Right, and that'll come up with something like, I don't know, your graphics card multi -mon multi monitor. Press OK, uh, enter, or OK, or whatever. But you can use your mouse, or press enter on the keyboard. It'll proceed to reboot. Right, and I'll wait till that boots. Back on desktop now, and now you should see um, the tray, system tray. You should. See. I can't see the mouses. There, uh, Intel graphics. Oh, if only that could expose correctly. Right, then you can go and see that here we have graphics properties as well as Nvidia control panel. Right, if we go advanced display options, go away everything. Right, we have a third thing here. This co corresponds to this Acer monitor up here. And as you'll see in a minute, it works. And I've set it up so that I can just drag over here, up onto there. So it's just one fluid motion, which is actually fantastic as well. Yeah, and you have the normal Intel graphics options, you should do, or if you right click, graphics properties, display, and you can do things like advanced settings.